असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकानिकल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडेज टॉपिक इज प्रोजेक्शंस ऑफ लाइन लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द प्रोजेक्शंस ऑफ लाइन विथ डिफरेंट एंड कंडीशंस सो दिस इज द सिंपल प्रॉब्लम आई एम गोइंग टू टेक ए लाइन मेजरिंग सेवेंटी एम एम हैज इट्स एंड फिफ्टीन एम एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ वी पी एंड ट्वेंटी एम एम अबो एच पी एंड द अदर एंड बी सिक्सटी एम एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ वी पी एंड फिफ्टी एम एम अबो एच पी ड्रा द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइन एंड फाइंड आउट द इंक्लिनेशन ऑफ द लाइन सो नाउ सो आई हैव टू राइट डाउन द गि वन डेटा so line measuring 70 mm ab line is given 70 mm and two different ends are given so by taking that ends conditions are distance i have to draw the draw the line so first what i have to do i have to take a reference line i have to take a reference line so this is the reference line and this is the x y line and it is given 70 mm has its one end 15 mm in front of vp it means i have to take 15 mm in front of vp and another end is given 50 mm sorry 60 mm in front of vp i have to take 60 mm from this and another end a is given that is 15 20 mm above hp and 50 mm above hp then what i have to do i have to take 20 mm above hp here and 50 mm from here i have to take 50 mm this side then what i have to do i have to take the i have to draw the projections of these lines sorry uh, locus of this line this is the locus of point a and this is the locus of another point b and similarly locus of point a and locus of point b then so i have to write down this what is the next step is a line measuring 70 mm then what i have to do i have to take the 70 mm from this this point so this is the 70 mm and similarly from this point i have to measure the 70 mm then i have to mention the points this is the af and this is the b f dash this is the a h and this is the b h dash line then next i have to write down the locus of this locus of b f dash this is the locus of b h dash this is the locus of a h and this is the locus of a f then what i have to do next i have to project these lines so i have to project the line up to locus of a h and this from b f dash i have to project the line up to a h so i have i am getting two points here this is the point 1 and point 2 and i'll going to mention the name this is the b f b1 f and this is the b1 h point so next what i have to do i have to rotate this line a as af as a center and b1 dash is a distance then i have to rotate this line and intersect with the locus of b1 b of dash and a h as a center and b1 h is the distance 
and I have to rotate the this line and up to B B H dash locus point. Then I am getting these two points. So this point is called as B F and this point is called as B H. Then I have to draw the front view and top view. So from this I have to draw the front view. So this is the front view I am getting and this is the top view I am getting. Now so the next step is we have to calculate the angles apparent angle as well as true length inclination. So this is the true length inclination and this is the apparent angle we have to calculate. So theta we have to calculate alpha we have to calculate phi we have to calculate and beta we have to calculate. So first I will going to show you the how to calculate the beat, uh, theta and phi then we have to calculate the alpha and beta. So what I have to do I have to take this and I am going to measure the phi theta. Theta I am getting here is 26. So I am getting the theta is equal to 26 degree and I have to calculate the phi. So I am getting here phi is equal to 39 degree. So pause the video and calculate the apparent angle alpha and beta. I hope you have calculated the, calculated the alpha and beta. So I am going to show you how to calculate the beta now. Beta and alpha. So I have to do, what I have to do, I have to take this and I am going to measure the angle. I am getting here 30 is the alpha, 40 degrees the alpha and similarly I have to calculate the beta. So here I am getting 45 is the beta, degree is the beta. So this is and now I have to show you the how the lines is flow, uh, this is the direction of flow of lines. So this is how we are going to calculate the uh, simple problems by taking the two different conditions and true length is given. So, thank you.